What's good, what's good, it's the one, the only, but what do I know, boxer coming back at y'all with another one, man. I have a segment that I'm gonna start doing called the Missing Fighter segment. And what you're gonna start seeing is fighters that are not that, that are not active. You're gonna see them on the back of a milk carton like we do Mr. Keep One Time Thurman. And we're gonna talk about their career and what's going on with them, man. And Keep Thurman is definitely the first person that I'm gonna do this, do this segment on because, bro, Keep Thurman was supposed to be something huge, all right? All right, so you see the you see the you, you see the picture. We got Keith Thurman. Have you seen me? It found contact Al Heyman slash the PBC. Okay, um, but Keith Thurman. The reason why I, I definitely wanted to start this off with Keith Thurman is because, bro, Keith Thurman was supposed to be. If you guys remember, around mm, I say around the 2013. 2014 mark keith thurman was the one to be looked at as the face at 147 i'm not gonna say he was gonna be the face of boxing i mean because um we gotta remember around around the 2000 well i say more so around the 2000 after 2015 that's when we started the canelo era because the canelo canelo era was on the rise don't get me wrong around two, when canelo fought floyd his era was on the rise right but that was before the manny pacquiao fight and we still were claiming for that fight but pretty much after the manny pacquiao fight floyd May floyd mayweather era kind of you know kind of went into the canelo you know it went into canelo's time so i'm not gonna say that keith thurman was was looking to be the face of boxing but but no no doubt about it at 147 keith thurman was the front runner right like he he was the one that that was looked at, looked at to be the, the 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 next big star at 147, and unfortunately, bro, we didn't. Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman, I'm not gonna. I, again, it's just like the situation with Adrian Broner. I'm never gonna sit here and say he wasted his career because you guys have to remember, bro. It would have been a waste if he would have never went pro. But because this man don't went pro, this man done made millions. His you you don't make millions and millions and millions of dollars in your career and then say your career was a waste. No. But what, however, what we do say is he didn't live up to the full p potential of his of his career. Now I don't know. It's like it's almost like man when Keith Thurman was first coming out. My first time seeing Keith Thurman was in like 2011 or 2002. It might have been 2012. It was on HBO, and um, I can't remember who it was that he was fighting. Actually, I'm lying. It, it was um, it was that dude Laura, not not Laura. It wasn't Laura. It was it was a guy named Laura. I think his name was like Orlando Laura. And actually, I, and I want to say it was on the undercard of uh, Adrian Broner fight. I can't remember what. Vincent, Vincent Escobar. Oh, it was one of Adrian Broner fights. And um, he was on the undercard. And I remember he first came out, he was like, you know, calling all these guys out. And um, he was like, Floyd Mayweather, you're undefeated. I can defeat you. He was like 18 and 0 with 17 knockouts at the time. And I was looking like, okay, this man, you know, he's starting to make noise. You know, he, he, uh, he, he, he started making a lot of noise by knocking a lot, by knock, knocking every, at that time, knocking out almost everybody he fought. You know, he fought uh, Carlos Quintana. He fought, um, that, and for y'all that don't know, Carlos Quintana actually gave Adrian Broner hell in the beginning of his career. A lot of people thought Carlos Quintana might have pulled that fight off if you watched that fight. Um, he, he fought Diego Chavez, uh, Jesus Soto Carras, Julio Diaz. Um, you know, you know, and he, 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 a lot of guys were avoiding Keith Thurman. A lot of guys didn't want to fight Keith Thurman. I mean, he was, he came out. I mean, he, he was calling out Khan heavy. That was when Khan was chasing Floyd, and Keith Thurman was calling out Khan heavy. Like I'll never forget, man. Keith Thurman was like, um, Amir Khan wants no part of Keith Thurman one time Thurman. Cause if he did, we be fighting tomorrow, son. Yeah. I was like, what the hell. <laughs> But he he was knocking down everybody's door, and he um he 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 was supposed to fight Marcos Maidana. Uh, Marcos Maidana had pulled out of that fight. He he was he was knocking down everybody's door. And he first got his his first quote unquote big breakthrough when he fought fought Robert Guerrero um, in I want to say that was 2015, right? That was the biggest fight at, at that time. That was I want that was around the time the PBC first started, right? And um and 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 he 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 then fought after Robert Guerrero, you know he then fought Luis Calaza, who's a veteran in the game, and that's when we first saw Keith Thurman hurt to the body, right? Now 
That was like in July of 2015 when he fought Luis Colazzo. Now, here's my thing, bro. It seems like ever since that moment happened, we have no longer heard from Keith Thurman. Like, it's like Keith Thurman. Nah, I ain't gonna say we no longer heard. My bad, I shouldn't have said that. But it's like Keith Thurman just just started declining. Like, like he started, he stopped being so hungry. I remember even thinking that year, because that, that fight was like in July. I remember thinking like, damn, it was like around November or December. I was like, damn, bro, like, I haven't heard nothing from Keith Thurman, no interviews, no nothing, right? Then he was supposed to fight like Sean Porter in March of 2016, but got into a little fender bender, not even an accident, it was a fender bender. Um, and he pulled out of that fight, but then fought Sean Porter, like I think it was June 25th of 2016, right? Great fight, hell of a fight. Got like 5 million views, right? He should have kept going after like, bro, he, that you you on steam now, bro. You had like his, his, that fight with with Sean Porter hit like five million views. Uh, it was a great action packed fight. Just the total package of had success written all over it. You know, at that point it's like, all right, the momentum is up. Let's keep it going. All right, he didn't he fight he did no longer he didn't fight any no after that in 2016. That was the only time he fought in 2016. Next he fought uh, Danny Garcia in 2017. Then. He doesn't fight, he, and it was early 2017, it was, it was March 2017 when he fought Danny Garcia. He doesn't fight any more in 2017, doesn't fight any in 2018, and I remember at this particular moment, Sean Porter was getting fed up. Sean Porter was like, bro, cause I wanna say he had the WBA and the WBC belts, right? And Sean Porter was getting pissed off, like, bro, you holding up the division, like, what are you doing, bro? Like. You sitting there not doing anything, but you got a whole division and, a, and, 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 and two organizations waiting on you. And Keith Thurman didn't, like, you know, he was getting pissed off, man. Like, cause, and, and, and you know, you don't really see Sean Porter get irritated, but Sean Porter was like, bro, like, you're gonna have to make a move. You're gonna have to fight Errol Spence. You're gonna have to fight Danny Garcia. You're gonna have to fight me. And note you, speaking of Errol Spence, Errol Spence was calling Keith Thurman out heavy. And it was almost like the bigger Errol Spence got, the less we was hearing of Keith from Keith Thurman. Errol Spence was bar, I mean, he wanted Keith Thurman bad. And I understood at first, like around 2014, um, 2015, I understood Keith Thurman not wanting to fight Errol Spence. It's like, bro, I don't get nothing out of fighting you. But Errol, the, Errol got that belt in 2014, Keith still didn't want to fight him. I also feel like, yes, and I do agree, Keith Thurman was wanting a Mayweather fight. Honestly, he deserved a Mayweather fight more so than Andre Berto, but Floyd didn't want to fight Keith Thurman or whatnot for his last fight. All right, but that's for a whole separate video. Anyway, so Keith Thurman then fights 2019 against Jose Cito Lopez and um, and then fights again in 2019. That was the first time he fought, in, uh, fought twice in, in a year, probably within the last four or five years. Um, so he fought Manny Pacquiao in, in like July of 2019 doesn't fight anymore um didn't fight any 2020 none 2021 and fought february of 2022 so and now we are here still still this man is missing an action and it's sad because again keith thurman was supposed to be the heir to the throne at 130 let me at 147 but for some now, now, and I also understand that he has gotten married within that time lapse that I gave you. Uh, he, he's gotten married. A lot of people feel like since he's gotten married, he's no longer. He, he's he's kind of softened up and he's not hungry like he used to be. I know he 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 just had a baby girl, if I'm not mistaken. I know he had he has two daughters. He had a daughter, I, I, I think, like earlier this like. Well, I'm saying it's still earlier in the year, but. Um, uh, a few months back, I think he just had a daughter, if I'm not mistaken. So congratulations to him on that, bro. I mean, much much success on your beautiful family. But it's like, bro, Keith Thurman, like, what 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 are you gonna do, man? Because man, <clears throat> this dude has a, a stacked resume, man. You know, I mean, he has a good resume. Sean Porter, Robert Guerrero, um. He got Sean Porter, Robert Guerrero, Danny Garcia, Luis Colazo, you know, Julio Diaz, Jose, uh, Jesus Soto Carras, uh, Diego Chavez, uh, Carlos Quintana, Quintana. He has a good resume, but it's just like, bro, what, what's going on, Keith Thurman? Like, you, not, you haven't been fighting at all. And that hunger, now nobody, people, 
people favor Jerron Ennis to beat Keith Thurman, including myself at this point, all right? So that's my first segment on Myths and Boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Who do you want to see me do another one on? But what do I know?